Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at Gemini's JSON mode. So if you don't know JSON mode, it's a, it's a mode to force LLM to generate outputs uh, you know, in JSON format. So sometimes if you are dealing with uh, a very unstructured data and if, you are, if you're trying to find out a key values pair, or if you want to find out or extract information in a structured format, most of the LLMs struggle with that, mainly the open source ones. Uh, most of the closed source LLMs, like you know the OpenAI, Gemini, and so on and so forth, they have inbuilt support for JSON mode. Even NVIDIA name, uh, a Microsoft is, is going to have these kind of capabilities for open source, not yet, but they will have it in near future as well. So in this video, our focus is on Gemini JSON mode. I'll show you that how you can use Gemini 1.5 Pro and Gemini 1.5 Flash. So JSON mode is available in these two models from Google uh, Pro and Flash. And additionally, uh, 1.5 Pro, uh, it also supports constraint decoding, which uh, allows you to pass a schema. So for example, if you have a schema and you want to pass that schema to generate the output in that particular schema format or a very structured format. So you can use constraint decoding, you know, uh, using Gemini 1.5 Pro. So let's jump into in this video, guys, and we'll, we'll be a very, very quick here. So if you look at here on my screen, you know, I am on uh, Google Collab and I already have Google API key. So my keys are residing here in notebook uh, secrets. You have the secrets. You can see I have Google API key and taken the value. You can go to just write Gemini API keys on Google and it will take you to that platform where you can create an API key. Now what I'm going to do first thing is I'm going to install a few things. So I'm going to do pip install. And when I, when I do hyphen Q, we are saying quiet. Don't show me all the logs and then updated version of google hyphen generative ai okay this is the library that google has created you know for their uh, for interacting with their, with their gen ai models or the lms and after that it's doing then meanwhile i'm writing the code so from google dot collab let's, let's take this here okay so you're gonna copy this thingy and not exactly the same thing that we need i'm gonna uh, make a bit of tweak here i'm also going to import google dot generative ai as gen ai and then here in the user data dot secret i'm gonna because my my uh, api key has been stored in this one so google api key and then i'm gonna say user data dot get user data dot get and then you pass your a name the same name that you have defined in the env file or you know if you are in uh collab you can just do you can just get this thing in uh, secrets in the left hand side and then once you do that i'm going to configure so genai.configure configure and then i'm going to pass my api underscore key you can see it's showing you over here there's a parameter api underscore key and then you just pass google api key so let me just do that here quickly uh, google api key and i'm just going to close this and now let's run it once you run it it will ask you for notebook access so you can see i'm going to grant the notebook access it's a secret google api ah, okay where did i say google api collab my bad you know it's key and when i do that it will ask me the notebook uh, grant access i have given the grant now i will just cut this out i don't need it anymore and now after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to define my model so my model is this is how you can define it so you're going to do gen ai dot and then you're going to use generative model so let me just do that so gen ai dot generative model you can see it over here and inside this now you can pass your model name so i'm going to use excuse me i'm going to use gemini 1.5 flash model so this is how you define that so gemini 1.5 hyphen and then you give flash if you want to use pro you can also use that and you can also of course upgrade on the premium version of it by paying the api's uh, billing and stuff and then you have generation config so in generation config it takes uh you know a dictionary so here i'm going to pass a response mime type so uh, let's do that so i'm going to do is response underscore mime me underscore type and this is going to be application json this is really important guys you have to define the mim type that you are ex uh, you are looking for a json uh, schema right and an output so i'm going to define here application slash json if you have worked with api headers you'll probably aware of this 
and you can see this is done now i'm going to define a prompt here so we can just do a prompt we are doing this without constraint decoding we are just uh, doing and we'll do constraint decoding as well in a bit and here in the prompt i'm going to write a doc string and inside this uh, here in the doc string i'm going to write a few things so i'm going to say here using the following json schema following json schema please uh, or let me just write it in the next line please list down uh, five popular programming languages why not you know you can you can do that so uh, five popular programming languages and then you can define a schema over here and then you can say uh, uh, you can just say program or just say a language you can see I'm saying language and in language I'm going to define this and and probably you can just do uh, programming and you can also do uh, you know a bit different so I'm gonna do programming languages and you know you, you have to remove a string you have to write str over here and this is done so this part is done at least now you can also return which is, which is going to give you a list of uh, language so then we're going to do a return here and then we're going to write return and in return i'm going to write list and in the list i'm going to pass my uh, language so let's do that it's a list so i'm going to write a language and in uh, language and this is how you do that now you just close the doc string which is already there and let's just run this now you have your prompt schema now you can just have a raw response let me just do that and raw response equals and here i'm going to pass my model.generate content which is a function so i'm going to call it model.generate uh, you can see it's a generate content and i'm going to generate this and you're going to just do excuse me i'm going to pass the prompt and then you just print the raw response dot text so i'm going to print raw response dot text to just parse the uh, just pa just parsing the output guys so raw response dot text and let's see what it does and you can see it has given me the programming language it's a simple example you can you know remove uh, the programming language and keep it something else so you can see it's, it it has given me programming language python programming language javascript programming language java programming language c++ programming language c has and programming language c so it is given me this uh, which looks good and, and if, for example if you wanted to create something like this you can do that now the same thing you know you can do a json load as well if you want to do through json load so for example if you you know this is how you can load this so import json this is for mainly fast api if you're working with flask fast api and if you want to return that you can just do json.loads and when, when you do json.loads you can just print the response it will be a similar thing so this is how you can also use it from there and use this in a uh, in, an, in a rest api and things like that so this is how you create a, a json response out of gemini models and not only that we can we're gonna go into constraint decoding now so let me just write it over here constraint decoding and inside constraint decoding inside constraint decoding what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to out output the json uh, through a defined schema so i'm going to use a uh, typing extension so import typing underscore extensions as a string and this is what i'm going to uh, uh, not string not string not string typing import typing extension as typing and then you can define your okay let me just get this here and once you have then then you can define a class uh, just just to define the schema object definitions and just for the information right if you are working with fast api you can also do a validation check of the schema so you can use pydentic for validating the data out of it right so you can also combine that and once you combine it you have a very strong and robust solutions at least from pre-processing and post-processing things all combined right so here i'm going to do import typing extensions as typing and then i'm going to write a class and let's now write a class of recipe so i'm going to write recipe of class and i'm going to define a typing dot uh, uh i need a dictionary which is right type dictionary dictionary and i'm i don't need all of these i'm going to just return so let's just return uh not return let's have a recipe name as a string 
yeah so let's just keep our recipe name as a string and the, we are okay with this class so you can also write ingredients you know instructions preparation times you can create a very big schema so i'll just keep it simple here uh, class recipe typing dot type dict and then i have this class now we can specify the json uh, format in a schema object and execute uh, in uh, uh, on the inference now let's write uh, let's direct the json output so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to have a result variable and here i'm going to pass my model.generate content and this is the best way guys you know uh, if you follow constant decoding you will have a better and modular code so you're basically following an oops concept to do this so i think this is how you should do it let me just write please list down or please list five popular cooking recipe or something okay so this is what i'm going to do here please list five popular cooking recipes and then you're going to use your config after this you're passing the prompt directly and then you need a generation config so i'm going to do is generation config so generation underscore config and then you are passing your uh, recipe name which is uh which will not come from here so let's have first uh generation config and then you're going to first write the mim type so i'm going to have response uh we should have a response mime type here so let me just do response yes application json which is right and then i'm going to have a response uh, list so response schema which is going to be a, a list item so response schema equals and in the response schema i'm going to define my uh, list of recipe so let me just do that and i'm defining my list of recipe which is your class that you see it over here right that's what it does generation config uh, to okay I'm, I'm making some mistake i'm not calling the uh, module there so it should be generation config equals it should be gen ai dot generation config yes you can see it over here and then and then you're gonna pass this uh, uh here and let me just have a uh, excuse me and then I'm going to have here a request timeout. It should have something called request options or something. Okay, so let me just see request options to request options equals. And then in request options, I can pass my timeout, which is a key value pair, which is a dictionary. So let me just do timeout. And my, I'll keep a timeout of like 600 or something. And then I'm good with this. And and then you define your print result text all right now we have to make this a bit uh this one i don't need this by the way i'll just get rid of this one here let me just get rid of this for now okay and then you have generation config response mime type and stuff and then you just so we're gonna close this here so let's just close this and response mime type i'm gonna go back here and this looks good response mime type application json and response schema which is list of recipe and then i have request options which is timeout 600 and then i close let me see what's what i'm making wrong okay generative model this should not be generative model this should be generative gen ai dot generative uh generative it's generation config so it should be generation config yes now you have gen ai dot generation config response mime type application json which which is right now this makes sense so generation config is fine and then you define response mime type response schema you know this is making sense and then you just can get here to, 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 to request option let's run this and see what we get it says invalid syntax ah okay such a stupid mistake to do that here guys okay, this will not be that and print result text i was just doing colon that will be an equal not a colon you can see we get some results over here uh with meatballs ingredient it gives you something you know uh, an output which is fantastic now this is how you can do that guys uh, if you can copy this can i copy this here 
print result dot text let's copy and then you can just bring it in a word document okay so let me just show that here to word document and this is how it looks like let me make it a bit bigger so you can read it now if you look at this it has given you a very structured data you know very structured lm output it gives you recipes name uh, with meatballs ingredients ground beef tomato sauce blah 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 and it gives you the instructions and then it goes to the next one which is here okay uh, chicken stir fry and then ingredients and stuff so this is how you can define it you know through a constant decoding to get a better output you know in a very structured format if you are dealing with so mainly this can also help you to publish the result on front end if you are using fast api or flask in back end and you can get this structured output and pass it to your front end you know through a fetch or whatever if you are using uh, to get the response but this is what it is guys this is what i wanted to do in this video i wanted to show you how you can use gemini 1.5 pro or gemini 1.5 flash or any other models if you are using open ai they have a bit different structure on how to generate that different modules classes so on and so forth so if you understood if you like the video please hit the like icon and if you have any questions thoughts or feedbacks please let me know in the comment box i'm happy to help uh, you know reply back and if you want to reach out to me you can also reach out to me through our social media channels join our community group on discord whatsapp linkedin find those information on channel banner and channel about us please subscribe the channel guys if you haven't subscribed yet that motivates me to create more such videos in the near future thank you so much for watching see you in the next one